Hello and welcome back everyone. So the classification of injection techniques that the dentist used to obtain pain control is based on the site of deposition of local anesthetic relative to the area of operative intervention. Like for example, if I want to work on lower second molars, I can either inject the local anesthesia around the same tooth, that is the lower second molar, or I can also inject it somewhere else, as in the case of using the Gauguerts technique. So in that case, the anesthetic solution is not deposited near the second molar. It is deposited away from the site that I'm working on. You will understand more as we move on. Starting with the types of different techniques, the first type of local anesthetic injection technique is termed as the local infiltration. So in this technique, we will inject the local anesthetic at the same area where we will perform the surgery or the treatment. Hence, in this technique, small nerve endings near the treatment area or those supplying the tooth are flooded with the local anesthetic solution. An example of such local infiltration is to administer local anesthetic into the interproximal papilla before performing root planning. This local infiltration, however, cannot be used for performing simple or complex surgeries involving extraction of tooth, root canal, or something similar because the area of tissues that are anesthetized with local infiltration are very small, and hence adequate pain control is not achieved using this technique. So, this technique cannot be used to perform such complex surgeries. So the next type of injection technique is a field block. Now in the field block, the anesthetic solution is deposited near the larger terminal branches of the nerve. So the area that is anesthetized using the field block is much greater, most of the time it is the entire tooth. And also in the field block, the local anesthetic is deposited near the same area where we plan on doing our surgery, as also was in the case of giving local infiltration. So in both local infiltration and field block, the local anesthetic is deposited near the same area where the dentist is performing his surgery. Now this type of injection, that is the field block, is mostly used when the dentist is working on the maxillary teeth and the mandibular anteriors, either extracting them or doing some other procedure. In these cases, the local anesthetic is deposited at or above the apex of the tooth, in which we have to perform our procedure, hence blocking the transmission from the tooth to the CNS. Like if I want to extract the maxillary central incisor, I will inject a local anesthetic solution near the root apex of the maxillary central incisor. Hence the area where I inject the local anesthetic is the same as where I will be performing my procedure. So this type of injection is a field block, hence the entire field is blocked. So therefore we can perform extractions and other procedures with field block but not with local infiltration. So moving on the third and the final type of injection technique is a nerve block. Now in the nerve block, the local anesthetic solution is most of the time deposited away from the site where we will be working on, usually at a distant site. Because the solution is deposited near the main trunk of the nerve that is involved. And so a much larger area is anesthetized using the nerve block technique. Like for example, a very commonly used technique and also very commonly taught in dental school is the inferior alveolar nerve block or otherwise known as the IANB. Now in this type of block, the entire division of the inferior alveolar nerve is anesthetized. And therefore all the areas supplied by this nerve are blocked. These areas usually include your mandibular posteriors, so almost all of the mandibular posterior teeth are blocked and rendered pain free with just a single injection near the inferior alveolar nerve. And you can easily perform surgery on any of those teeth. But of course you also need to block the lingual as well as the buccal nerves before performing complex procedures such as extraction of these teeth, which I will explain more in my further videos, but I think you get the idea on how the nerve block technique works. Another example of nerve block technique is the Gauguerts technique, which is also known as the true mandibular nerve block. In this nerve block, the entire division of the mandibular nerve is blocked with a single injection. So in the Gauguerts technique, the site of injection is around the condylar head of the mandible, while the area of intervention are our mandibular posteriors. So again, in this Gauguerts technique, just like it was an in inferior alveolar nerve block, the site of deposition of anesthetic solution is farther away from the area of intervention. So these type of nerve blocks are very effective for performing lengthy procedures that involve a large area or even the entire quadrant of our mouth. But these nerve block techniques are a bit difficult to perform as you have to be very careful about the anatomical structures, the landmarks inside the oral cavity and hence these techniques require a certain level of knowledge as well as experience to fully master them. 
but once you have understood and mastered them fully they can really be helpful for performing extractions and other procedures that you are going to carry out in the mouth so these were the three major types of local anesthetic injection techniques used in dentistry there are however many different type of injection techniques for maxilla as well as for mandible and all of them require you to completely understand on how and where to give those injections the landmarks that you need to know before injecting the needle and their indications on where you should use them and i will cover them in detail individually in my further videos if you want to read more on these types of injection techniques that I've just discussed, you can click the link on the top right corner from my website studywiththedentist.com. Here you can read further on these three different types of injection techniques. So I will meet you people next time. Till then, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and goodbye.